Hi, I'm briefly going to take you through how you can use SmartAssembly to add automated error reporting to your applications. So to start with, imagine that I'm a developer working on this application, Mandelbrot. I've been distributing it to my end users, but when they run it, some of them have been coming across an exception and I can't reproduce it. When the exception happens, all the users see is this not very helpful error dialog box. SmartAssembly lets you add automated error reporting to any .NET program you have. So I'm going to put this Mandelbrot application through SmartAssembly now. SmartAssembly works as an assembly-to-assembly -assembly transformation. So you just have to choose an input assembly to produce an output assembly that's modified to have the error reporting added to it. I just need to choose my original copy of the Mandelbrot executable, and I'll stick the output on the desktop. SmartAssembly has lots of other features like obfuscation, but for now I'm just going to use the error reporting feature. I won't go into the details of all the options that you have, but it's very configurable. If I just click Build, then we can see on the desktop here that the new version of Mandelbrot has been created. Now, if I pretend to be the end user again, I run Mandelbrot, and the exception happens but now the end user has a much better experience. They get an apology for what's happened and an option to send in a report, which I'll do. Now, if I put my developer hat back on and view the error reports, then the error report my end user sent in has appeared. Here, you can see lots of useful information about the computer that the error happened on. But most importantly, there's the stack trace which every programmer knows is the most important thing when trying to understand why an exception happened. And even better than that, the parts of the stack trace that belong to your own program can be expanded like this. And inside, we see the values of all the local variables. I find that a stack trace on its own, even if the end user sends it in, is only enough to fix the problem 20% of the time. But with a smart assembly stack trace, I'm far more likely to be able to solve the problem. And because with automated error reporting, all the information needed to fix a bug can be sent in by the user with a single click, and without them needing to understand anything technical, we get far more error reports than we ever did before, which lets us fix bugs we probably wouldn't ever have found out about otherwise. If you'd like to try adding automated error reporting to your own application, you can download a free 14-day trial from our website. And if you have any questions, please do get in touch.